My name is Jeff Sullivan and I'd like to demonstrate PE's ability to use history and current history to be able to go back and take a look at data that has, uh, that has happened in the past. Shown here is the statistics detail screen and what we're going to be setting is the history and we're going to be setting it to Delta. Because what's probably happened is, is we've got a ticket, we're trying to take care of a problem that occurred in the past, and so we want to see when it happened. In our case, we're going to be looking at a problem that had occurred on September 15th, starting from about 8.40 in the evening to about 8.50. So what we're going to first do is we're going to put in September 15th as a date, and we're going to put that there. We've got September 15th. We're going to put in a, a starting time. We're, in this case, we're going to say it's going to be 840. So that's, of course, 2040. So 2040, zero, zero. Uh, as you type, uh, the colons are put in for you. So it just kind of helps if you just go 2040, zero, zero. Hit the check box. And then we're going to be going to the next range, which is going to be 2050. So uh, let's take a look at 2050, zero, zero, and do a check box here. Now what happens is, is when you put in the two times here, you'll notice that it changes this to from and to, you'll see this vary around. But more importantly, we want to take a look right here and make sure that we've got that 10 minute range right here. Now once we do that, and I happen to have SQL in here, I am looking at all the SQL that had occurred during that interval from uh, uh, 2040 to 2050. Now notice that the time here is, is eight, it shows 839 or 203940. That's because when the actual snapshot took place and when the data was gathered it wasn't exactly on, on the money in terms of being at that time. Now once you have this time in here suppose you want to be able to slide back and forth and say hey, you know I want to take a look to see if it happened a li little bit earlier or a little bit later. All you have to do is, is come up here into the slide bar and just do a single click click on it and what it will do is it will slide along at the smallest increment and you'll see here that it stays at, at in this case a five minute increment and just slides right along and we can see uh, what had occurred during that time. So in a way it's kind of nice because I can look at the time here, I look, I can look to see it, it, at that split here, this, this range and, and see if we find something that occurred during this time. And in this case you can see here that uh, as I was sliding along here the SQL has been changing and uh, this again gives me that range.